Hi, and welcome back. Recently, I had a comment on the K5 Plus handheld radio asking how, how you show frequency name, how you change it from a frequency to a uh, setting a name for the frequency. So I thought I would um, make a video on it. So all you need is a programming cable, the Chirp software, which will work on a Mac or a PC. But on a PC, I believe you need to use Windows 11 or earlier. Uh, they don't have a version for Windows 12. So I'm going to show it being used on a uh, Mac computer. So let's go ahead and do it. And let's start by loading the Chirp software. I want to go do is go to the Chirp website, which is chirpmyradio.com, and you want to go to download the latest Chirp Next Build here, and it should automatically choose your platform. Uh, um, on this case, I'm using a Mac, so I'll click on the download, then we'll open. The download here and it should open the correct chirp I mean the correct um, yeah the correct chirp page and you'll get the welcome to the chirp screen and what you want to do is go to radio and download from this radio make sure your cables connected and you have turned your radio on. And make sure you have the correct port, the correct manufacturer or, video or a vendor of radio, and the correct model. And then we'll click OK. On the K5 Plus, it's a beta, so you might get a beta window pop up to say that's OK and click OK. And here we go. Um, this is what I have programmed into my radio. Uh, you have the frequency name, the tone mode, tone, um, the um, duplex offset mode, and the power. Now when you program a frequency in here, you'll uh, probably have to um, program the tone so you can um, connect with the repeater but usually the duplex and the offset um, will automatically load to the correct one and then on the power depending how far you are from the repeater if a repeater is close I'll usually use low medium or high on my or lower medium on my power and for the calling frequencies, I usually put it on um, high so I can get the longest range possible. Um, in my other videos, when I was showing the range of my radio, I had it set on high. Now, the one we're interested in here is naming the frequency. So once you program in your frequency, you can um, type in a name here. And the cool thing about the five or the K5 Plus is it gives you a lot more characters than uh, the UV5 radio. And I believe, let's count here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And if I remember, I think 11 is the max, though it might be 12, but um, you can get quite a few characters in there. So you can go ahead, um, put all your frequencies in, and then uh, name the frequency, whatever you want. And then once you have this all filled out, you'll go back to um, radio. I don't think you can see it on here. Maybe you can. And then you will go ahead and um, upload it to radio once you're done. In our case, we already, um, it's already in there, but just to show you for the sake here, we'll just go ahead and click it. 
and it will upload to your radio. When you turn on your radio, by default, it's going to be on frequency, and we have two A and B frequencies, and to switch between the two, right now we're on, we're running on A frequency, and you can see if you look up in the corner there, it says main, and if you push A, B, then we're on frequency B. So the cool thing about this is you can change between frequencies pretty quick. You can put your two favorite frequencies in there. Now, um, let's go ahead and I'll show you how to um, go to the, how to, instead of viewing the frequency, we can view the name of the frequency. So we wanna go on menu and we wanna go on 24. That's how we name the A frequency. And then uh, let's get it in the shade here so maybe we can see a little better. All right, you can see it's, um, oh, we're not on the right one. Let's go again. We wanna be on 24. Okay, so as you can see here, it says um, that it's on frequency right now. So what we wanna do is push menu and up arrow, menu again, and now it will show the frequency name and then we can push exit. And you can see it's on the frequency name now. And then we can do that for B too. So again, we'll go in the menu and B is menu 25. And again, let's push menu, the up arrow, menu again, exit. And you can see now it is on um, the name of the frequency, frequency name. So again, there's how using Chirp, you can go and uh, change your frequency to a name if you so desire. And I did look it up and you can put up to 11 characters in your frequency name on the K5 Plus. And if you're using the UV5R, which is a smaller radio, the maximum number of characters you can use on this particular radio is seven. So again, on the K5 Plus, you're gonna get uh, four more characters, and it's a much bigger screen if you look here. So thanks for watching. Um, I hope this answers some of your questions. And I will see you next time.